Chapter 7 Operators In most programming languages, including PHP, operators provide the ability to combine and change values in a program in a variety of different ways in order to yield new values. Although the list of operators in PHP is quite long, we'll focus on the ones that will provide you with the most flexibility while you're just starting out. Example 6 is almost like the last example we looked at, except this time we're converting temperature instead of distance. There are lots of operators in this example that we'll take a more detailed look at. The assignment operator is the equals symbol, but has a rather different meaning in this context. We've actually been using this operator since chapter 4 when we learned about variables. In an assignment statement such as this one, we read this symbol as is assigned with because the variable on the left of the assignment operator is assigned with the result of the expression to the right of it. Working with strings in PHP is very simple due to the string concatenation operator. This operator is the dot or period on your keyboard. Concatenation is the process of combining two strings one after the other to make a new string. This new string is the value returned by the string concatenation operator. We've added another simple block of PHP code to the start of this file. This new block demonstrates string concatenation by dynamically building a string for the page title using strings and variables. Finally, we have the arithmetic operators. These consist of all the mathematical operators that you're already familiar with. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are all in this group. For this example, we chose conversion between Fahrenheit and Celsius because it involves an offset in addition to a conversion rate to convert one to the other. Now, instead of just multiplying by the conversion rate of 9 fifths, we also need to add an offset of 32. Scrolling down in the file, we can see that none of the other template code was changed. Looking at example 6 in our browser, we can see that for each of the temperatures supplied in Celsius, the corresponding temperature in Fahrenheit is displayed. Example 7 does the opposite to example 6. It converts a number of Fahrenheit temperatures to Celsius. The important changes between examples 6 and 7 are with the conversion rate being 5 ninths instead of 9 fifths, the conversion offset being negative 32 this time, and a slight rearranging of the formula to convert the values. It's very important to note the brackets around this part of the expression. Just like in a regular mathematical formula, expressions are evaluated in a certain order unless we force the order using brackets. Without them, the offset would have been multiplied with the conversion rate first, then added to the value to convert, thus yielding the wrong result. In this chapter, we've given you a quick tour of some of the basic operators in PHP, including assignment, string concatenation, and arithmetic. There are lots more, and they can be combined in some pretty interesting ways. The operators presented in this chapter are the ones that you'd most often encounter when learning to program in PHP, and you might never need anything more. Once you've mastered the operators we've covered in this chapter, have a look at the complete list of the operators available in PHP by visiting www.php.net slash operators.